Hey, how's it going everyone and welcome back. So I get a lot of questions on my videos asking, hey, what gear is that? What armor are you wearing? How do I get that? What weapons are you using? What rules do you have on your weapons, etc. So I thought I'd make a video going over my 400 light level titan and just give you an overview of all of my gear. Now, I'm still working on a few things, I'm still chasing some pieces of armour and trying to get the right stat rolls, etc. But this is basically just a progress update of my character so far. So, here's a look at my subclass real quick, just in case anybody cares about this. I'm running flashbangs instead of lightning, because I actually quite like them. I mainly use them for PvE, but I actually quite like them in PvP as well. So, I'll sometimes just switch to flashbangs. Uh, for my jump, I'm using Increase Control, then Shockwave, then Discharge, then Titan Codex 1, Transfusion, Titan Codex 4, and then for some reason I'm using Shoulder Charge. I should probably be using Jug, but for some reason I've just got Shoulder Charge equipped. Don't ask why. Anyway, that's just my subclass in case anybody cared. I usually run Striker for just about every activity, unless it's something like the Raid, or if I need to switch to either Void or Solar, but for just about everything, I use Striker. Anyway, let's take a look at my weapons now, starting with this beauty right here. This is my God Roll Imago loop. I actually included a clip of me getting this to drop in one of my previous videos, and everybody freaked out in the comments. This is essentially a Year 3 Fatebringer. Firstly, it has Outlaw. Precision kills with this weapon dramatically increase reload speed, and then it has Firefly. Precision kills with this weapon cause the target to explode. It doesn't have explosive rounds, unfortunately, so it's not exactly a fate bringer, but it does have rifle barrel, which I honestly think I prefer. I'd rather have more range than explosive rounds, because for some reason, I'm not sure if this is just me, but I feel like explosive rounds kind of throws off my aim, so I'm not really too big of a fan of explosive rounds, but it does have the outlaw and firefly perks, so it's basically a fate bringer. I absolutely love this thing. It's my go-to weapon for pretty much all PvE activities. The rest of the primaries here are pretty much my PvP weapons, so I have my Lord High Fixer which I've had for a while, if you've seen my previous videos then you'll know that this is also my go-to weapon for PvP, I absolutely love this weapon as well, it's one of my favourite weapons and definitely one of the best weapons that I got in the Taken King. Look in the chamber and it has rifled barrel as well, it has the ability to two tap so that's all I really care about. Then here I also have my Clever Dragon. Man, this thing is taking over the crucible right now. This is the Iron Banner Pulse Rifle, and it's probably the best pulse rifle in PvP right now. It's basically a Grasp of Maluk, super high rate of fire, low impact, but with more stability. It is ridiculous, and it's on sale, this Iron Banner, with Braced Frame and Counterbalance, so you definitely need to be picking this up if you don't have it already. Next is my Distant Star. This is the Iron Banner Scout Rifle. I quite like this thing as well. I'm rather fond of it. It's got Small Bore, High Caliber Rounds and Icarus. Not an amazing roll, but I do like the High Caliber Rounds and Icarus, so it's not terrible at all. Uh, here I've also got a couple of the Scout Rifles, Angel's Advocate. I love this thing as well. It is insane how good this thing is. It has Zen Moment, Burst Frame and Reactive Reload. Reactive Reload basically means that this thing can 3-tap people to the head. It's honestly kind of dirty. Then I also have my Cryptic Dragon, which I did make a video on. If you'd like to see my review on that, there'll be a link in the description. Uh, this has crowd control, high caliber rounds, and reactive reload. This thing is also dirty. Then lastly here, I have my Palindrome, which I recently got. This is my first one. It came with Icarus, Reinforced Barrel, and Reactive Reload. Reactive Reload allows me to two-tap people as well. Moving on to my special weapons, firstly is the X Machina, this is the Raid Sniper Rifle, and this is my favourite PvE sniper right now. It's also one of the best snipers in PvE right now, and it's only a legendary. As for my other weapons here, I have the Trespasser, the Exotic Sidearm, then I have the Matador, which this has a dare roll, so take a look, I have Aggressive Ballistics, then I have Cascade, which is really, really meh. I'd much rather have something else here, like Full Auto, but I'm not really going to complain because the next perk I have here is Reinforced Barrel. And then lastly, I have Range Finder. So that's pretty dirty. And I actually have another Matador, which I recently got. It's got a very similar role. Firstly, we have Performance Bonus. Then we have either Reinforced Barrel or Rifle Barrel. And then we have Range Finder again. The only thing that's missing is Aggressive Ballistics. But it's pretty much the same as my other Matador. Next is my But Not Forgotten. I don't really use this much, but I do like this sniper. It's got Burst Frame, Lightweight, and Hidden Hand. 
Then I also have the Trial Sniper, the Winged Word. This thing's amazing as well, perfect balance, snapshot, unflinching. Then I also have another sniper here, which I haven't really used much recently. I've honestly lost all ability to snipe, but I have the Short Gaze, Underdog, Snapshot, and Hidden Hand. So this thing's actually basically a god roll. Could have had something other than Underdog, but it's got Snapshot, Hidden Hand, and Short Gaze, so I'm not going to complain. But the weapon here that I've probably been getting the most questions about is the Saladin's Vigil. Now if you've been watching my videos or if you follow me on Twitter, you'll know that I absolutely love this weapon. It's probably my favourite weapon in Rise of Iron so far. It is insane some of the things that I've been able to do with this weapon. If you've been watching my videos, then you'll know. So I actually have two Saladin's Vigils here. And for those that are wondering what roles I've got, this first one has Perfect Balance, Enhanced Battery and Range Finder. This weapon absolutely destroys. It is mental, some of the things that you can do with this weapon. Just, if you want to see what this weapon's like, just check out my previous videos. I made a montage of me just absolutely mapping and just destroying people with this thing. It's my answer to Shotgun Warriors. I've been using this a lot in Trials, and Shotgun Warriors will just simply throw themselves at you because they don't expect you to be using a fusion rifle and they don't expect you to be able to kill them. My other Saladin's Vigil here has Braced Frame, Quick Draw and Hot Swap. I keep this one just because I like the Quick Draw Hot Swap combination. If you look at the stability, it has pretty much max stability. It's a hair away and also has near max impact. I honestly can't get over how good this weapon is. Now lastly for my heavy weapons here, there's honestly not really much to talk about. I've got my Yellow Horn for PvE, my Nemesis Star for PvP, and then everything else here, my Young Wolf's Howl, Truth, Sleeper Simulant, Raze Lighter, and my Vanguard Machine Gun, which I've had for a while, with Rifle Barrel and Hidden Hand. But other than that, there's nothing really new or unique here, so I'm just gonna move on. Here are my Ghost Shells. I've got to say, a lot of the Ghost Shells in the Rise of Iron really are incredible. I really like what Bungie have done with some of these shells. They've definitely stepped it up with the design of them. So firstly, I have the Amalgam Shell. This is from the Hard Mode Wrath of the Machine Raid. Then I have the Infection Shell. This is from the Normal Mode Wrath of the Machine Raid Shell. Then there's the... Uh... Ghost Ghost. This thing is actually adorable. Then there's the Devil Ghost. It's just a ghost shell with horns and a devil's tail. These two came from the recent Festival of the Lost Halloween event. Then I have the Iron Song Shell. This comes from the booklet that you get with the Rise of Iron when you hit a certain rank. Then there's the Iron Wolf Shell. This is the Iron Banner Ghost Shell. This thing is actually incredible. I really do like this design. It's way better than most of the ghost shells in the game right now. I really like this thing. Then lastly is the Exile Shell. This is the Trials of Osiris Ghost Shell. And this one looks really nice as well. It's got this really nice shade of shiny yellow to it. So now let's move on to my armor. I'm not really going to go too in-depth with this, but I'm just going to give you a brief overview of the gear that I've been wearing. Right now I'm using the Stellar Impact set. This is the set that you get from Archon's Forge. I'm mainly wearing this just because it's the only armor set that I've got right now that provides the stat rolls that I want because it's pretty much my only gear with Intellect Discipline. I've only got a few of the pieces with Intellect Discipline, but a lot of the armor doesn't match, so this is really my early matching set as well. I do like it, but I'd prefer to wear some of my other armor as well. Like, I've got the Trials armor set. I've got a full trial set with ornaments, which looks really nice, actually. I know some people don't like it. It looks kind of ridiculous, but I kind of like the weird and ridiculous looking armor in this game, so I, I really like wearing the trial set. But the problem is, most of my armor is either discipline strength or intellect strength. I haven't got enough intellect discipline pieces other than my boots. And so that's a bit of a problem. It kind of throws off all my stats. So I'm trying to get some more intellect discipline pieces from Trials. I also have most of the hard mode raid set for the Titan. I just need the helmet. I've only got the non mode helm. I want the hard mode helm because once I get that, I think I'll be able to then get the shader because. You can only get the raid shaders once you've got a full set, so I do need that hard mode helmet. Uh, some of the other armor here, in case you're wondering, I've got the Jovian Guard set. This is the Year 2 PlayStation exclusive set that came with the April update. I actually kind of like this armor, but only when I'm wearing the full set. Some of the armor pieces just don't match other armor sets, and I'm one of those people that really cares about how my character looks, so I'm trying to find a balance between stat rolls and appearances. 
I've also found myself rocking the Dune Marches way more than most exotics recently, just because I really like these, I really like the perk that it provides, especially the tight turn radius when sprinting. It basically means that you can turn almost instantly whenever you want to while sprinting instead of having to do this huge turn radius. And I've really noticed the difference when I switch characters because when I go to either Hunter or Warlock, it just feels super sloppy when I'm sprinting and I really don't like it. So I do really like the Doom Marches for that snappy movement. Then for my artifacts, I pretty much only run two artifacts depending on what I'm doing, either Memory of Scory or Memory of Yolda. If I'm playing solo and playing PvP, I'm usually just running Memory of Yolda, but the problem is Scory provides the stats that I need, so sometimes I'll just switch to that anyway. And if I'm running Strikes or in a raid, I'm usually running Scory just to provide my teammates with more supers. So that is a rundown of all of my current gear for my Titan, my current loadouts, my current armor setups. If you'd like me to make similar videos on my light level 400 Warlock and Hunter, do let me know in the comments and if there's enough demand, I may just make videos basically doing the same thing, just going over their loadouts and taking a look at the gear that I wear on my Hunter and Warlock. Anyway, I do hope that you enjoyed this video, thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you next time.